Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on lead code regarding winning candidate using Pandas library of Python and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium. Also, if you are new to this channel, I have solved close to 200 easy, medium and hard difficulty questions using SQL. The link of the entire playlist will be in the description box below. Also, do not worry if you do not have LeetCode Premium subscription. I am going to share this Panda schema in the description box below as well. You guys can copy it into something like Jupyter Notebook and try to work on this by yourself as well. Okay, let's jump right in. The question reads, so we are given a table called candidate with two different columns, ID and name. ID is the column with unique values for this table. Each row of this table contains information about the ID and the name of a candidate. Then we are also given a second table called vote. Again, two different columns, ID and candidate ID. ID is an auto increment primary key column with unique values. Candidate ID is a foreign key that is a reference column to ID from the candidate table. Each row of this table determines the candidate who got the ith vote in the elections. Okay. We are asked to write a solution to report the name of the winning candidate that is the candidate who got the largest number of votes. The test gates are generated so that exactly one candidate wins the election. So there is not going to be any tie. Let's go through this example, right? So here we have, uh, you know, different candidates, candidates and their names and the vote tables, right? So vote ID. So this vote was given to candidate ID two. This one was given to candidate ID four and so on. So just by looking at it, right? Candidate ID two got two votes and rest all, right? So candidate ID four, three and five got one votes each, right? So obviously who is the winner? Candidate ID two, candidate ID two. What is the name of that person? B, right? So that is what we have in the output. So this is what we need to do. So since the information is, you know, scattered in two different tables, the first thing that we should do is we should merge this information into one, right? And then try to count for every candidate ID, how many votes are there in total, right? So let's start with and you know save this in a data frame called df what we are doing is basically merging right so pandas dot merge then we are merging the vote table with the candidate table since the name of the columns are different in both of these right so we write left on right left on candidate id and then right on right right on is equal to id right and how how is equal to left because we are only concerned about the you know candidates that got votes right because if you see candidate id one doesn't didn't get any vote right so we are not concerned about them okay so how is equal to left and also this is not required but i usually try to do it so that we you know we are able to identify which columns are coming from which tables because if you look at it right so you have same co column name in both of these tables so it might get you know confusing so what i do is suffixes right so suffixes is equal to right suffixes is equal to uh Okay, so we write uh, first one is coming from vote and second one is coming from candidate, right? Okay, I think this looks good. Let me go ahead and return this data frame. Let's see what do we get here. Okay, so if you look at it right now, uh, so now we have IDs of the votes, right? So coming from vote table, the candidate ID who got this vote, right? And this ID column is coming from the candidate table so this id is the id of the candidate and the name associated with it so now once we have this information at one place the only thing remaining to do is for every candidate try to group by and count the number of votes right so what we can do is we can go ahead and do let's say df dot group by right so df dot group by we are grouping by the name of the candidates right so group by name of the candidates and let's take the uh, you know id vote right so let's take the id vote column um, idv right and then count right so then if we try to count it we are going to get okay for every name or every candidate what is the total number of votes that they got right and since we are grouping by name to get that as a column we need to reset index right so reset index uh, and let's store this in something called let's say df2 right and let me return this df2 okay so now if we look at it 
right so now we have a uh, name of the candidate as well as so although this says idv this is basically a count right so now once we have this then we need to since although this is you know ordered in descending order we need to make sure that we write it explicitly because we are only required to keep the person with the highest number of votes right so what we can do is we can go ahead and do either you can firstly rename this idv to you know count or something like if there is no confusion but like let's skip that part and just go ahead and sort values right so sort values because we already know this column basically is a count right so sort values then you need to give the name of the column by which you need to sort and ascending is equal to false right so it should be in descending manner right so ascending is equal to false let me go ahead and run this again let's see what do we get here okay so now we have explicitly mentioned that we get the uh output in descending manner right okay so now once we have this then we are only required to keep the name of the person with the highest number of votes right so we arrange in descending manner then we are only going to keep right the name part right so we are only going to keep the name part now if i go ahead and run this it is only going to keep this column right but we do not want every person we only want the person with the maximum number of votes right so what we can do is we can simply go ahead and do dot head one right dot head one let me go ahead and run this now okay so if you look at it output our output is same as expected output this is accepted let me go ahead and submit it to pass all the test cases so yeah, this is accepted and this is how we do it so so not a very difficult question all we had to do was firstly you know merge the information into one because the you know information was segregated in two different tables and then what we did was we simply grouped by the name counted for every candidate name how many votes did they receive sorted in ascend in descending manner right and we only kept the first value because question says that there cannot be any ties between two candidates right so only one candidate can win right so yeah this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or more efficient way you can think of to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next video